everyone. This is Bet from the Bunker, quarantine edition. We're still here. Okay, so it's winter and it's cold and like hopefully nobody's getting COVID because hopefully we're all like getting vaccinated. But yeah, I have a killer chicken soup recipe. Sorry vegans, um, I, it's a chicken soup recipe. Keeps you healthy, it does. So one of my quarantine purchases was an Instant Pot. It's cut down my chicken soup recipe time from like six hours to like two hours. It's great. So take the Instant Pot, you put the chicken bones in, you can use a carcass, you can use um, thighs. You gotta have the bones though. You must have the bones. I can't say this enough. If you're using a boneless, skinless chicken breast, it's not gonna work. You need the fat and you need the bone. Okay, so you stick the bones in and maybe like thigh meat. You want it to be a little bit more oily. Remember I talked about soup lubricating the throat for singing on my audition video. Okay, so you put the carcass in. You put thigh meat, bone, whatever. Parsley, carrot, an onion cut like roughly into quarters or half or whatever, just like, cause it's gonna just soak in there. I do add a spoon of that like better than bouillon stuff because I think it just adds like a nice flavor, but it's basically the same thing. You could do it without. I put peppercorns in and kosher salt and then I put the lid on. Oh wait, celery. Don't forget the celery. You want like a stalk or two, just rough chop. It doesn't need to be perfect because you're actually just gonna throw all of that away. So I put it in the Instant Pot. When I used to do it on the stove top, I would put it in a bag, one of those like cheesecloth bags. And then it would just, you could just like literally pick that up and dump it in the trash. But with the Instant Pot, I haven't really tried the soup bag trick. I would love to know if somebody's tried that, let me know. So I put it all in and I put it on the soup setting for two hours on high. And then I close the lid and I let it cook. And it comes out golden, like that beautiful golden chicken soup color. Comes out like that. You strain the soup. Now, I think it's important to leave a little bit of fat. My mom would disagree. She would say, get rid of all of that fat, skim all the fat, but I need it for singing. You're gonna chill it, skim it, and then portion it out. You take that broth, so that's basically like the stock part. Then you put it, you can either use the Instant Pot or you can just put it on the regular stove top in a big pot. You're going to add new onion, celery, carrot, and a little bit of parsley right at the end and chicken meat. You, I have done it where I've used the meat from before, but actually you've basically soaked out all the nutrients. So. I would suggest using like, at that point, you would put in boneless, skinless chicken thighs and you put, you chop that up into bits or pull it apart and you put it in the soup. And then if you're me and you love matzo balls, I make the matzo balls on the side or like I know people love egg noodles in their soup, that's cool too. But honestly, just like the broth itself, just the soup itself is great. So that's my soup recipe. Uh, sometime we're gonna have to make you a time lapse so you can see me do it. But yeah, stay healthy everyone. Uh, drink your soup, drink your tea, and um, stay away from other people who aren't wearing masks right now. Okay, bye.